Probably the most popular question we've had in the last four weeks in here is about do I buy a mini driver or do I buy a three wood? Now, this design has come out to be a replacement driver per se for the guy who doesn't want to hear a driver. But we've seen more guys come in and asking about it as a three wood stroke second T ball club. Obviously, it's designed in that area as well. But the way to look at it is this is the head side. This is the SLDRS fairway mini driver. You can see the, the volumetric differences here. Obviously, bigger, deeper, much more what you would almost call for those who are old enough, same size as probably the old Big Bertha driver from many years ago. Obviously, sole plate very similar, depth of face a little bit deeper, but not much in it. So, the question is do you want it as a T ball club? If so, buy a mini driver. If you want it as a fairway, so the odd T ball club then buy the SLDRS or SLDR or jet speed, whatever you, your flavour is. The mini driver's got a very niche role in the world. Not adjustable, comes in that 12, 14, 16, 18 gig. You've got to decide what you're going to use it for. If you've got a golf course that you need to hit a certain shot, a certain positional shot and driver's not a good club for you, that could work for you. Shaft wise, again, this is the same shaft as the driver shaft in terms of that 57 gram Fuji shaft. This is a 65 gram fairway shaft. Slightly different, but again, what do you want it for? Whenever you're doing this product selection stuff, remember the golden rule. If it hasn't got a home, it hasn't got a place in your bag. So don't get confused and get this crossover effect, as I call it, between two clubs doing the same job. If your driver's not very good, and three would go as far as driver, it happens a lot for guys that get steep on it, then sometimes bin the driver. Right? Don't be frightened, bin the driver mini driver or something like that and then go into a five wood seven wood hybrid combo if it's going to be a club that you want to hit off the deck powerfully then maybe that's not going to be the easiest club in the world to get maybe you're better off looking at a more conventional three wood scenario but don't get confused by smoke and mirrors of marketing saying all right this is a great driver this is this this is that look at your golf bag and what is it going to do in your golf bag always Boil it down if you like to bare basics. Simple things work. Can I use it? Do I like it? Does it work for me? Remember that, you won't go far wrong. Thanks for watching.